And now, first warning weather with meteorologist Brad Souder. Well, you know, just since that news package was put together, all within just the last few hours, it has gone from a one, category one this morning, to a category five. So anytime you record something, it's already going to be outdated because of how rapidly this thing has intensified. Watch it here. Here's the last 12 hours just this morning. I'll take you back to the beginning of this loop. Cat one hurricane. Watch how it comes together and swirls. The eye gets more defined. The cylindrical aspect of it. Monstrous looking storm. This is this is terrible. Um, not what you want to see. We've already had a lean. It was a cat four. This is already way stronger than that. And um, there's not much to weaken it between there and Florida. And of course, we know Helene hit the unpopulated section of Florida. OK, people do live there and you saw the towns that had damage, some destroyed this hurricane. Well, it could go towards one of the most populated cities in the United States, Tampa, St. Pete. So um, really, it's, anyway, there's a lot to that. And obviously, compared to what we have here, it's so very different. So staying very warm around here. The dry weather continues Milton to Florida. And uh, the latest track here does take Milton uh, right, uh, right on shore here as we make our way into Wednesday. Now, of course, the strength of Milton, still unknown, just how strong. Hopefully, it's only a Category 3, right? Hopefully. Um, but, you know, in reality, they should prepare for something much more. 78 in Kerrville, 81 in Pearsall, 88 in Catula, and we're looking at 80s in Austin. Very, very warm October weather. Radar very quiet around here. Yeah, um, gosh, super quiet. A little bit of uh, echo reflectivity there on that radar loop. But here is what to expect for Texas. And of course, there goes Milton. And I know you're just looking right at that because there's nothing to see here in our neck of the woods. So it's going to stay pretty quiet around here the next several days. But what we will see is the introduction of some much drier air to sweep on through. And so it's going to feel so much better around here, even though we're still going to be in the 90s. Today, some of that drier air starting to spill in here. We'll see more of it tomorrow. And then once it really gets in here, our lows will only be in the lower 60s. And we're talking about dew points during the afternoon only being in the 40s. So that kind of brings up uh, fire danger because it's now been 31 days since we've had rain and with very dry grass and brush and dry air, fires can start to spread pretty quickly. So be careful with any sparks that you may have because a grass fire is very possible. That is what's happening, everybody. We'll be back.